Hello, everybody, and good morning. Please complete the warm up. Good morning. And then clear your desk of everything but your medical waiver and pre lab. Time is of the essence for just a part of the day. Please focus. Time is of the essence for just the next 10, 15 minutes. If we get through the barrel 15 minutes, everything's mellow, but we all gotta get through this together. Please focus. Clear your desk of everything but the pre-lab and the medical waiver. Yes, just the medical waiver, not the ticket. Everybody look what Paul's doing, just the medical waiver, not the bus ticket. Hugo, I would like you to sit in the desk in front, and all, in front of you I mean. And also, could you take this one right here? Yeah. yeah, I think there's somebody was absent, which is a great coincidence. Uh, Marlon, who sits there? Uh, right? What? Marina. Marina. Anybody know Marina's coming today? She's here. She is here today? Yeah. Does anyone know about her plans in period two today? Well, too bad for her. You snooze, you lose, Marina. Thank you. 
excellent, 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 excellent with the hips, all that stuff. Excellent, excellent, what's all that? Okay, yes, yes. What's all that binder crap? Excellent, excellent. Awesome, too much binder. Nada? Excellent, 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 too, uh, excellent, excellent. Yes, yeah, that, that's what I've been talking about. What's all the other stuff? Okay, you got too much crap. Buddy, hey, Blue. Everybody put away your cell phones now. I'm going to throw something, buddy. Then you have wallet and binder and stuff. Ha! I have mind control. I speak Apple. Near field communication. Shit. <laughs> All right. Hopefully today we're going to set up something that ends up at the end of the day looking kind of like this. Wow. We'll see. Last period I had like 95% success rate. Your TA, Sam and Daisy, have dialed us in for this. In all the previous years, I've never had 95% success rate, and I got a really good feeling, but we'll have to all get through the next, like, 10 minutes really tightly. Try not to be distracted by pre lab stamping. Try to focus on just a few bits of instruction, because I'm going to give you a bunch of things all at once. Please look up. Now that you've warmed up and now that you have cleared your desk, you will come up to the front and start from where I am standing. You will turn in your med waiver here. Then you will take materials from the front. One of each plus one little set of each. It takes two people to carry a set. One of the people carries like a test tube rack and a couple things, and the other person carries the rest of the things. Please look at me. It's important that you notice each of the sets is identical. Test tube rack, there's already milk, there's already water, it's all pre measured. My TAs are awesome. Then you will label your glassware, and while we finish all the pre lab stamping and so on, and as soon as I see that everybody has all their stuff and they're seated, I will give you one more set of instructions and then the whole day is yours. See your gate Do we live our black birds by name and period? Nope, just one, two, three, four, five, six. Anybody else? Yeah. Before you come up, look at me. Bunch around this row and bunch around this row. Ready, set, go. If you break glass, there's no penalty. If you break glass and don't tell me, you're a scumbag. <laughs> What more do we need? That's your problem. Oh, yeah. Whoa, what's up with those ones? You know, you know what, my dad? He got me a, a sticker for my refrigerator that says you can only be young once, but you can be an immature infant forever. <laughs> the Caballero, yeah, we had all tattooed on our back. Oh, broken glass? Broken glass? No broken glass, huh? Keep trying, keep trying. I know you can do it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, now, that was pretty smooth. I'd give it like a nine and a half-ish. Yeah, 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 nothing to apologize for today. You need to rush through your setup, but there has been a change to the procedures. I am impressed to see that all but two of you had your pre-labs today. That's spectacular. But on those pre-labs, please look up. There has been a change. We used to have these little itty bitty droppers, but now we have these big old lunky boar droppers. So they just get one drop, not three. One drop, not three. Your procedure said three drops. Change that to one, please. Uh, now wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. oh, you see, everybody's already getting to work, but I got to make a couple announcements. So one dropper, not three. Second of all, you'll mix up the milk and the water and the dye, and the milk and the water and the dye, and the milk and the water and the dye, and the milk and the water and the dye, and the milk and the water and the dye, and the milk and the water and the dye. But the very last thing that you will add is the yeast. Daisy will walk around, and when you're done with one of your beakers, she'll give you a little hit of yeast. And some of you might have planned to use a timer, but newsflash, it's difficult to run six separate timers. So instead, I'd like everyone to record, please look up, <coughs> the starting time and color change time off one single clock. If you need your pre-lab, you know what I'm talking about. Anybody have a question for me? Good luck. Bye. <laughs> Perfect, Sam. Thank you. Five milliliters, right? Are these? Alright, where? Let's see, which five milliliters? Right there. Yeah, this is pretty much the deal. Yes, the record will stand for you. Don't stress the day table now. Stress your mixes. You do the day table. Oh, yeah. Trevor, hit me with the menu. Okay. Five milliliters. Five milliliters. Which is eight. This is five. Yeah. Not as many as Brayton's body phone. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> I am happy to see everybody's doing stuff, except for Bodie, which is probably better. <laughs> <laughs> 
I feel it too, buddy. It's glorious. This is looking smooth. Daisy, you got all the credit. Sam, whatever Sam likes. Yeah, buddy, you all get the credit. This is going really well because of you guys. This is awesome. Yeah, you know, other TAs help me. Like last period, Dave Holroyd helped me. Was your TA? Yeah. He's actually a TA for period five, but he came to last period because I bought some coffee. He also takes the class and he TAs, and he also is one of the Alcoholics kids. So he's a TA just for the Alcoholics stuff. Yeah, we usually work. We got some work. Wait, um, do you need more water? Yeah, one more. Uh, I don't know what it's talking about, so I just... Yeah, just measure it here and pour it into the second one. Like, I remember that, like, DNA thing. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably... No, 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 like the, no, the graduate cylinder. Oh, yeah. No, like, don't have, like, a graduate cylinder. It's actually almost exactly two quarters. Yeah, we, me and Rosie were like, okay, somebody else has to go through Like, our hands are like, we can. do And I tried and I sucked. Oh, yeah. When you mix everything together, that's when you start to get it. Yeah. Oh, um, are you sure? Yeah. When you find all the leaders of milk from the first, you can add it to the second. Well, well, that's not what you You just remove five foot and all from that. No, you remove it from the first one. So you remove it from that. Yeah. Very good. Alright, is this my favorite place? I don't know. Oh, I don't get this. Okay, now remove five milliliters. Oh, well, once you make it all. Uh, yes. Yeah. You remove five milliliters from here and put it into the middle. It really is in the instructions? Yeah, it works. No, 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 First of all, be hitting your hand. Yeah, really? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then it's all the way to five. I can't really see anything. These cereal dilutions are going pretty well. And then you just grab the rest. You don't, you don't put it in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jesus, ten, right? So, yes. Yeah. <laughs> how do we? you do it? How do we know? Oh, we just pour it. Yeah, you put the milk in the water and you mix yeah, you'll see the punch.
Solutions yet. Funny that with just one person working, this isn't quite working out. I'm going. But everybody else is watching. It's like we were watching. Which, I think we can get like more hands in the mix. Oh, that is some weakness. Uh, no, there was like a layer of liquid with foam on top. Are we supposed to like water? That's the problem. After we have to eat. Okay. There's nothing left to use anymore. We have to like shake so, but you don't. We just get And. Please come back. Remember that.
Yep. Yeah. And then I think uh, Gabby X her table needs it. Everybody, Sam Rugeri will come collect your spare milk and spare water. Everybody, give your waste product to Sam Rugeri. Oh, the game is a flood. This is working. Did you write that one? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Say yeah, there you go. Get the liquid out of the bottom instead of foam. That's good. Okay. I would. Oh, we have to put the cap on. Yeah. How many of you have started adding yeast? Very good, very good, very good. Can you give an example of how white it's going to get? It's like a game. Oh, I see that. 
Is that the circle of life? Why circle of life? Yeah, you built one. Did you have to use the circle of life? I think that's what Spider-Man's doing. I know why. Pretty much the milk color of what we started. Yeah. Is this white? I'm not sure if that's doing I am surprised that this mad class doesn't know what white is. It's white. Look, it gets white. Like white, like the color it was before you added the blue, that's how white it gets. Yeah, that was good, right? Very considerable. You said it made That one, that's like almost happening. It's almost happening. Yeah, it's like it's really about to happen, Mary. Keep an eye on it. Okay, so for three. Yeah, bro. Okay. I'll pay some money. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know that's out. Yeah. yeah. We're getting our first color changes. That's a color change, yeah. Are you there yet? Yeah. Yeah. I will interrupt you again in two minutes. Make sure you have the cork on all of them in the next two minutes. Now me. That's definitely that. 
Every one of your six tubes must have a start time that is unique because you started each of them at a separate time. Sorry, I don't want to raise my voice because kids won't be able to hear. Yelling over you is a mistake. Each of you must have a separate start time for each of your six tubes. If you broke one, you might still have one that you need to mix, but time should allow for that. But, now that we're all waiting, we have a few other things to talk about. We're all waiting, right? Yeah. You've got one that you got to replace? Yeah. If you can do that quietly, I don't mind if you go for it. Uh, can I have this? So, students, mystery number one. Mystery number one, today's warm-up. Please look up. What does the blue indicate? What does blue tell you? Oxygen. Wait, there are too many other conversations. I, I don't want to keep restarting. Yes? It measures how much oxygen is in the liquid. Yes, it measures the presence of dissolved oxygen. So when it has turned white, the absence of blue, what happened in there? Yeah? The yeast um, in took, or used cellular, cellular respiration uh -huh. to um, emit carbon dioxide as it took in oxygen. Yeah, because what was that yeast eating? No, it was using the oxygen to eat what? Milk. Milk. I'd like everybody to look up, please. And Hawks, if, if, we, if this is like a big distraction, we can just skip that one data set or whatever, but I need other kids to at least be able to follow me. Please look up. These decomposers, that's your yeast. These biodegradable waste, that's your milk. And notice that where the concentration of waste is high, you have the most demand for oxygen and thus the lowest levels of dissolved oxygen. Where the milk was pretty thick, the oxygen ran out quickly because the yeast had a lot of work to do. You know, where there's no milk at all, you probably will not see a color change. And the, the fun fact that you might want to know in advance, if you wait long enough, they will use up all the oxygen in there because they're eating the flour they were packed in plus whatever kind of funk is left on the inside of the glass tubes. Next, watch me. What happens when I shake this? What happens when I shake this? Yeah. Oxygen is returned to make sure it comes to movement. Everybody agree with that prediction? Martha just goes, no, I hate seeing her. Fine. Watch this, though. Every now and then, the redhead is right. <laughs> See? It's blue. Because, you know, there was oxygen up in the top. Right? There's a little tiny atmosphere with oxygen left. And uh, everybody know what's going to happen if we wait a little longer? So could we just spend the, 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 yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. I have Next interruption. Next interruption. Hook up there, we do. Why is there that little tiny meniscus of blue right at the top? That's right. There's a little tiny atmosphere in there. And so that little top layer, that's the natural, look at how thick it is. Everybody look at your little bubble. That's, that's how deeply oxygen dissolves in real time, full time. That's, that's the little tiny layer at the top of the ocean that does all the breathing and all the photosynthesis for our oxygen on Earth. That's like the layer thickness of the water inside your lung. That's the depth of this. Please look up. That's the depth of this cycle. 
the dissolving gases, the gas exchange at the surface. That's how much we're talking about. That one little tiny thin blue layer, I can't even keep my hand from shaking when I hold it all the way out, so I've kind of made it look thicker. But if you look in your test tubes, it should be pretty thin. Finally, we all agree on the basic facts. I'm glad that uh, well, was it said what it is. But did everybody notice all this fuzzy, bubbly funk in the yeast? I want everybody to think. Don't answer it once. I'd like everybody to come to this moment of glory on their own. What are those foam bubbles made of? Wait, 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 wait. What is in those foam bubbles? What is it? That is CO2. So the little bubbles in bread, those are CO2. And anybody know how you carbonate beer? Yeast. Living yeast and sugar to make the CO2. If you have a keg, no, no, watch me, watch me. Yeah, you, you don't speak ever again. You have lost the privilege. Close speak for Marty. Okay, wait, 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 wait sorry. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. When, when Jose makes beer at home, if he puts it in the keg, it has a little vent to let out all the bubbles, so it's flat, and you gotta have a CO2 tank to carbonate out of the kegerator. But if you bottle age your beer, you gotta take your batch of beer, where there's yeast alive that made all the alcohol, and you gotta feed them a little bit of sugar before you put it in the bottle, so inside each of the bottles, they'll go to work eating a little tiny bit of CO2, and that can't go to gas because it's under pressure. That's why the lid is so tough. And then when you decap it, that pressure drop lets all the CO2 come fizzing out, and that's how we carbonate alcoholic beverages. The same kind of yeast that makes your beer foamy is the same kind of yeast that makes your bread rise with big bubbles, and that's the same CO2 that this same kind of yeast is making in this same place, but here it's just eating flour. Yeah? So why aren't like sugar vodkas carbonated? Well, I, I think that some place or other they've eaten up the sugar and let stuff out. There's a couple separate details there. That's not a live yeast culture. Vodka is a distilled liquor. It's a distilled liquor. So we've evaporated all the alcohol and recondensed it as an aromatic ether. That's the part that you drink. That's why it's a higher percentage than beer. But somewhere in that process, back when they were eating the starches out of the potato, they did make CO2. They just wasn't bottled at that stage. If you bottled it then, you would have gotten potato beer. And it would have probably been like 4% alcohol. Has, it, has everybody's mind been adequately blown for today? Yeah. Okay, now, listen very carefully to this. The time is a ticking. You should have been watching and recording your times. I see that most of you have had one, two, three, four, even five change colors. A few of you just three or four. But we're on the right track. Everything you don't need, dump your liquids outdoors. Rinse in the soap bucket. Wash all the soap off. Girls, what? By girls, I mean Bodhi and Sarah. <laughs> Wash in the soap. Rinse in the fresh. Then bring it up to the front and Sam Ruggeri will tell you if it's clean enough or he'll send you back to do more rinsing. Daisy and Sam will be setting up the lab process for later students. Everything you don't need. Start washing it now, please. I'll come back. These are already white. Do we need them for anything else? Yeah, for those three so far, six and a half minutes. Eight and a half minutes. Yeah. Is like the second? No, six.
Uh, it would be, you know, if, yeah, like the scientific rigor were a big part. Like, this data is not really going to make or break anyone's career. <laughs> right. They, they would be if this kind of, but we've, we've seen what we need to see and stuff. You get a general idea. Uh, also, I have this. Right. And then now they have these. these homework, which is the Thanks. So in a, in a week from today. Yeah. Oh, so like 14 minutes? Yeah. Well, we were going to talk about it that day. How does the go? Yeah. 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 There's a couple of days in my class. Yeah, I mean, so that even if they're learning in the class, it's not the worst part of pollution is usually the biodegradable. I start the conversation and I like that. She's right. The biodegradable stuff is the worst position in the dark. Right, because what the problem that happens is the bacteria that that's okay. you know, is right? These are wet. Some of these are wet, so I'm right. And the process of eating yeah. water uses yeah. yeah. up, it's yeah. all gone. And so by making the water run out of oxygen, the bacteria use it a lot. And so our waste disposal is true, the river But the downside is the standard Right. And so this happens in the ocean, this happens in the river. Uh, this favors the cold. And so I talked about how you can't go through yeah. after the rain. Uh, all the runoff is in the ocean. Is that can't break it? No, don't break it. Have they turned yet? Okay, which one did? Yeah. Number six, wait, not. Yeah. What time does this group go Oh, you have time. Yeah. 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 Oh. Uh, except for like super little things. Where it's like flip the line or like screw that. I have like two problems. What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, see, the whole post line, everybody does their own post line, including the graph. Give it to Sam Gary, he'll tell you if it's good enough. You gotta be clear on the bottom, baby. Just kidding. Six one, five should still flip a bit. 
Sorry, we're not going to get good data. So everybody check well, this out. Well, it looks like that bottom portion is a new problem, right? And then it looks like it's getting lighter. It's me. You're off. Cool thing is, once you get to that point, you can look at the cork it. It's like it's cool. You can see it in the middle. Yeah, I don't know. Because if the water's still swirling in there, you can see the cork it. Where are you with this? I'm not being fast. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I've tried that experiment with 4% and 2%. Like, no, no difference. No, no difference. Yeah, right? Yeah, right? Yeah, right? I was on the homeboy really fast. They were on the bottom right before they were on the bottom. Yeah. But like, so you kept on like, yeah, and rocks. Sooner or later, right? I don't know what they were doing. Water, 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 water. Would they start doing uh, anaerobic changes? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, it wouldn't take very long for that to go on. Is that Gary Bogo got stuff for you? What you read about? I hate it. Gary Bogo. I was like, I was like, and then I just wrote like three paragraphs on how much he oh, sucks, oh, oh, and I'm so happy to yeah. beat him on the test, and how I beat him on the just last test. Just because if you beat him on the test, I can't <laughs> read any of it. No, I, I, I pulled out my calligraphy pen and started doing it on calligraphy. Oh, yeah, I do it. That'd be sick. I do it like this. I'd be like, I'm going to break the pen. Let's get the next section here. He's from Migo, so we'll let it slide. Nine forty seven. Nine fifty seven. Nine fifty seven. Nine fifty seven. Nine fifty seven. Nine I 
because every product is going to have a certain amount of yeast. Trying to get it exact. So either that or your yeast are mostly dead. <laughs> but I'm going to assume that you guys have a little bit left. She said it's okay if you break it. So. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> She's like, if you break them, there's no penalty. I'm like, really? Monday, we need an 8 inch tulip flagpole. Bring shoes, food, water, and be ready. The weather will be kind of cooler and damp. It will be sort of like hoodie and jeans kind of weather. Maybe we'll get your shoes a little muddy. It could happen if it rains on Sunday that your shoes could pick up a little mud. Should we just clean it up? The last two have a turn. Number six is not going to turn. Okay. What was the time? 